Yo, Super Solo, thank you very much, tuning in. Look what I got. I've been to Disney Star this morning and I'm stupidly happy. It's the 40th anniversary of Star Wars today. A New Hope is my favourite movie. Or oh, for 40 years ago, it was just called Star Wars, but. A New Hope is, is my favourite film in the Star Wars universe. It was the film I was introduced to Star Wars with and um, pfft, never looked back. So this is a commemorative 40th anniversary version of the Disney Elite series and it's Han Solo and Luke Skywalker in their Stormtrooper disguises. Now let's take a look at the back. It says Han Solo and Luke Skywalker die-cast action minifigures. In collaboration with Lucasfilm, Disney Store is proud to introduce the Star Wars Elite series, a premium line of die-cast action figures featuring iconic characters from the expansive world of Star Wars. This exclusive collection is meticulously engineered and crafted with Star Wars fans in mind. In the throes of the galactic civil war, roguish smuggler Han Solo teams up with the idealistic yet impetuous Luke Skywalker in a daring mission to rescue Princess Leia. Posing as stormtroopers, the duo make their way to the detention block on the Death Star where the princess is being held. And this set will run you at $39.99, so a little bit more on the expensive side, but it's well worth it. It's Luke Skywalker and Han Solo after all, and it's an elite series, and they're in the stormtrooper disguises. I missed out on the Black Series versions of these, so I'm happy to have the Elite Series in my grasp. So let's crack this open without further ado, and let's get into the review. They don't look as if they've put much uh, rope ties on this one as normal. Maybe Disney are listening to my videos, that scary concept. <laughs> I'm going to try and salvage the box this time, guys. I'm not destroying the box, because it is the 40th anniversary stuff, so I'm kind of being a bit gentle with it. I know that's new for me, right? I'm still unboxing it, like, but I want to be able to put the figures back in. Possibly for display. I'm not sure yet if I'm taking them out or not fully. We've got the two black display places just on the backboard. I won't be removing them just because they're a pain to put back, so I don't particularly need them for review purposes. They're out of the packaging for the first time. Luke has come with a tie around the uh, gun. So I'm a bit dubious to take that off, because that normally means that they uh, are a bit rubbish at holding their own stuff. So, um, might be tempted to leave that alone. Looks, uh, Han Solo didn't come with that though, bear in mind, and he's, he's holding his pretty well. It does wobble around quite a lot, but it is there. Now, one thing I noticed straight away, it might just be my particular figures, I'm not sure. But they, are, they do feel very loose around the legs. So when he stands up, he does feel like a ballerina, a bit wobbly and a bit unstable, which isn't cracking. But let's talk articulation, because it is an Elite series, so we have got limited articulation, but I'll talk you through it. So the arms can only lift up to here because of the back plate of the shoulder pad, and we don't want to scuff that. But it can go all the way around, and there is an elbow joint there as well, which does work pretty well. And the hand as well is on a swivel joint, uh, but no bend. The head can be moved, I think, from left to right, and a slight up and down motion, so there is a bit of a ball joint there. Th there is actually a waist turn on this particular one. I'll check that on Han Solo, make sure he's the same. The legs do lift out, but are hindered by the pieces at the side and the legs, so they do only lift out so far. But the legs do lift up, and there is a knee joint there, and the feet do flex as well, but do not rock or pivot. Now, the Stormtroopers, obviously, so they do have a holster. I'm actually going to take Luke's bit of plastic off now. So let's hope he can hold it in on his own. And you can just place that at the side in the holster. Doesn't like going into the holster and feels a little bit silly being in there because it is quite large. Is that how Stormtroopers carry them? That feels a bit ridiculous. But that's what the models that got on it, so we'll use that for now. Oh, it's so warm in this house right now. It's really warm today, sorry guys. Um, so yeah, it is a nice figure though. I am actually quite happy with it. Um, I like the face sculpt. It's not a bad first Elite Series look, I've got to admit. They could have done worse. And of course, let's look at Han. Now Han is also pretty much the same as Luke, he does also have a holster, which I'm just going to try and squeeze that gun into. Um, he does have all the same, yeah, exactly the same body, I think they've just swapped out the heads. In fact, it is identical. They've got identical pieces on the on the belts and everything. 
So it is the same body, I think, reused, and then they've just shoved a new head on it. Uh, this one's slightly taller. They have got the, um, the height pretty down, to be fair. Ham does feel a few inch... Oh, no, actually. No, I scratched that. To the lie, they are identical height. I was hoping that Luke was going to be a little bit shorter. Aren't you a little short for a Stormtrooper? But he's not, sadly. So they're not to scale, really, which is a shame. But I... Whoa! Luke just fell over and scared me off to death. <laughs> Looking at this face sculpt, you can definitely see the Kylo Ren blood. <laughs> You can definitely see that he's the father of Kylo Ren, especially with that haircut. <laughs> that face sculpt does remind me of uh, the, uh, the Kylo Ren uh, unmasked sculpt. <laughs> but again, it's pretty nice. There is a few paint blemishes. Again, we have this problem with the Elite series. There's blobs of black paint on the white, and there's blobs of bl uh, white paint on the black. And oh, they just they can't get it right. Like there, there's a few spots there on the black, which really, really hinders them. And again, they're still suffering from that same problem. And you can see all the screws. They have tried to cover most of them up, but there are still screws without without these little covers on. Again, just makes them a little bit. I know they are a little bit cheaper than Black Series, but they're, they're more or less the same price. And I think if Disney are going to call them Elite Series, I think they really should be making them a little bit more Elite. So the helmets as well, let's see if those fit on. Yeah, actually they do fit on pretty nice. So you could you could technically army build with these if you wanted to. And get some elite series stormtroopers going. So yeah, the face masks do work pretty well. The helmets do look pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take it to the desk guys and I'll get a closer look at these figures for you because people do like it when I use the desk cam. So. Okay guys, and here they are out of the packaging. So there's that face sculpt. Oh my god! <laughs> These figures don't half go down with a bang. Oh, the helmet went flying then. These figures don't half go down with a bang. Jesus, you see what I mean about them standing up? They do feel very floppy in the legs, which is a pain. Even on the new stands, I've got a feeling it's still going to fall over. But that is pretty much what happens with nearly every Elite series I've had. Nearly all of them has fallen over at some point. Um, so it is a bit of a pain. Come on, camera, focus on that face. Silly thing. Nope, doesn't want to do it now. <laughs> so let's move on to Han. Again, that face sculpt is a little bit off, to be honest. It looks more like Kylo Ren than it does Han Solo. What do you think? That's just my thoughts, though. The figures are pretty nice, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on them. I do like them. I just think Disney Elites could be done better. I wish I had the Black Series versions of these to compare against. Sadly, I don't. If anyone else has the Black Series versions of these and would like to let me know what you think and which one you think is better, that would be awesome. So this is a part of the new 40th line of merchandising from the Disney Store. They've also released... Oh my god, again, bang, bang, bang. That Luke does not want to stand up. You drunk, Luke. Go home. <laughs> We're drinking too much blue milk. <laughs> See, if you want to let me know what you think, whether you think the Black Series or the Elite Series are better, that would be awesome. Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, they are pretty nice, though. Don't get me wrong. What do you guys think? Do you like the helmets on them as well? Luke, don't fall over. <laughs> Han Solo! <laughs> You are my only hope. <laughs> so I do like it when you do put the mask on. It does fit very well and very flush to the figure. For display purposes, you wouldn't know if that's a Stormtrooper or Luke. So that's pretty cool. Especially if you put the helmet down slightly like that. You would never know. You can have your uh, Elite Series heroes definitely disguised against the other. <laughs> against the others in the series. Guys, let, let me know your thoughts on them in the comments down below. Standing Leia with them, she does look pretty short by comparison. I'm not sure what the height difference was between these guys and Carrie Fisher, but I don't think it was this much. <laughs> Shame I got Chewy to hand, because Chewy I think is even shorter than Han Solo. So that would be quite funny to look at. But uh, yeah, in scale with the Black Series, it doesn't look too cracking. 
So you know what that means, Disney? You need to release us a 40th anniversary New Hope edition of Princess Leia. Who's with me? Let let me know in the comments down below which of the uh, original lineup would you like to see now diecast in the Elite Series range. I'm thinking the White Princess Leia in the traditional outfit. Because so I think that would be awesome opposite these two new guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Okay, guys, so which one is your favourite? Let me know in the comments down below. Smash that subscribe button. It really helps the show. Helps me out and help, helps me keep making these awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you again. Have an awesome day. And may the Force be with you. Bye-bye.